my fifth grade team. I've got, so we're in our fall season. I've got two new players on this team. I've only got nine players. The players that I have, I feel really good about their skill level and their abilities. And one of the things that I'm trying to focus on is less about learning a bunch of plays and more about them understanding concepts. But taking, you know, time to really make sure that they understand these concepts. But number two, I think the biggest thing I'm trying to build really is just a positive team culture. One of the things that I think we tend to forget is, you know, we get so much in the X's and O's and learning plays and making sure your players know how to shoot and dribble and where to set screens, where to turn, is we forget about who they are as people and what we're trying to develop, good human beings. I think we lose sight of their ability to deal with adversity and to work with each other and lift up their own teammates. Uh, I got two new players on my team and some things they're not used to, some things are new to them. And for me, it's important to make sure that the other players understand what patience means. Uh, we've all been in positions where we've been the players on the team that didn't understand stuff. And we hope that somebody gave us grace and led us in the right direction versus criticizing us for something we didn't know. So I tell the players I'm more concerned about our culture versus our wins. If we have a positive team culture, wins will follow. But we can't focus on wins first until, that our, until our culture is where it needs to be. Um, and I think it all starts with that foundation.